Hey guys, I'm John. Today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Hot Side and Cold Side Intercooler Piping Kit for the 2015 Plus Ford Mustang EcoBoost. This can be purchased as an entire kit, including the Mishimoto Performance Intercooler, the pipes as a group, or the pipes separately. For more information on how to install the Mishimoto Performance Intercooler, check out our install video. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include 5mm Allen key, 5.5 and 7mm sockets, 10mm deep socket, universal swivel, quarter drive 6 inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, flathead screwdriver, and channel lock pliers. Install time for both pipes is about 1 hour, and install difficulty is a 2 out of 5. If you are running the stock airbox, the install will be easier and less stressful if you remove it. To remove the stock airbox, loosen the warm gear clamp that connects the airbox to the rubber intake boot using a flathead screwdriver. Then, remove the 10mm bolt that holds the airbox to the inner wheel well. Last, before you remove the entire unit, remove the air intake temperature sensor so you can start the intercooler pipe installation. You can also remove the splash shield and remove the clamps from below. Raise the car by using a lift or jack stands. Remove the 14 7mm bolts, 6 pop clips, and 2 5.5mm bolts holding the under tray in place. Using a 7mm socket, loosen the upper clamp on the cold side intercooler pipe. Next, loosen the worm gear clamp on the cold side pipe where it connects to the intercooler. You can either use a 7mm socket or a 7mm ratchet wrench. Head over to the hot side and loosen the worm gear clamp where it connects to the intercooler. Again, using that 7mm socket or 7mm ratchet wrench. Next, let's loosen the worm gear clamp on the hot side pipe where it connects to the turbo. Again, using the 7mm socket or 7mm ratchet wrench. Using channel lock pliers, remove the spring clamp from your stock bypass valve hose. Once the spring clip has been removed, go ahead and remove the hose from the bypass valve. Detach the electrical connection from the bypass valve and set it aside. Remove the two tree clips that hold the wire loom onto the hot side of the intercooler pipe. Now we can remove the entire hot side intercooler pipe, pulling it up and out of your EcoBoost. Pull it from the turbo first and then from the intercooler. Now we want to remove the entire cold side hose, pulling it up and out from your EcoBoost engine bay. It's easiest to pull it off from the throttle body first and then from the intercooler. With the hot side pipe removed, now remove the three 5mm Allen bolts that hold the bypass valve to the hot side pipe. Now take the stock bypass valve and attach it to the Mishimoto hot side pipe. Reuse the three 5mm Allen bolts you removed earlier. Attach the hot side coupler to the intercooler. Be sure that the smaller of the two sides attaches to the intercooler, while the longer side faces upward. Once the coupler is seated on the intercooler, slide both T-bolt clamps onto the coupler, but don't tighten yet. Install the upper coupler onto your Mishimoto hot side pipe. The larger opening attaches to the hot side pipe, while the smaller opening attaches to your turbo outlet. Now we're ready to install the entire hot side pipe into your Mustang EcoBoost. Before you do this, Make sure you have two Mishimoto T-bolt clamps already attached to the coupler which attaches to the turbo outlet. Fit the pipe into place, but don't tighten all your clamps down quite yet. Now we're ready to install the cold side pipe. Take the cold side coupler and install it with the shorter leg going onto the intercooler. Have both clamps already on the coupler when installing it to the intercooler. Before installing the cold side pipe, be sure that the pre-marked CNC bung is on the throttle body side. Now you can install the cold side pipe into the coupler already attached to the intercooler. Fit the upper coupler onto the throttle body. Make sure it's on the throttle body all the way around. Also, don't forget the two Mishimoto T-bolt clamps. Now we can go ahead and tighten down all the T-bolt clamps. Start with the couplers connecting to the intercooler. Use your 10mm deep socket and make sure that the clamp goes all the way past the bead roll. Tighten down all four of the T-bolt clamps for both the hot and cold side couplers using your 10mm deep socket. Now, head over to the cold side coupler that attaches the throttle body to the pipe 
and tighten down the two T-bolt clamps using a 10 mm deep socket. Over on the hot side, connect the coupler that attaches the turbo to the pipe and tighten down the two T-bolt clamps using a 10 mm deep socket. Be sure that everything is nice and tight and that all the clamps have been fully tightened and are seated nicely. We recommend tightening all T-bolt clamps to 27 inch pounds or 3 newton meters. Do not exceed the maximum torque rating of 35 inch pounds or 4 newton meters. Using your channel lock pliers, reinstall the bypass valve hose and slide the spring clip back into place. Go ahead and clip the bypass valve connector back in. Reattach the under tray using the 14 7mm bolts, 6 pop clips, and 2 5.5mm bolts. Now that you've installed your Mishimoto hot side and cold side intercooler pipes, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and take your Mustang EcoBoost for a test drive. For more information on how to drill and tap the cold side intercooler pipe, check out our DIY video. Also, don't forget to click subscribe.